I need my union to protect me from myself. I need my union to say, I'm sorry, there are certain questions you can't ask Ron. Okay? I'm his conservator of these minor issues, and you can't ask that. And when my union abdicates that responsibility for its weaker, and I'm not the weakest, I, you know, for its weaker members, then it is doing a tremendous disservice and ceases to be a union. And that's what I'm looking and, and because my agent can't do what my union can do for me. Right. David? Yeah, I just wanted to, to make an observation, and, and, and if you hear me through and, and not react to the first part till I get to the second part, I think you'll find there may be some common ground, and that is I, I am personally and genuinely sympathetic to the, to the situation that Ron talks about, but I think that we have to take notice of, of a couple of things. One is there are people all over the country right now who figuratively or literally are losing their quotes or worse. So if you put, you, you, you set against the economy of the country, uh, it, unfortunately the notion that some people in some industries are not meeting their quotes doesn't ring like a terrible tragedy set against the, 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 the entirety of what's going on. I think, however, what you're saying, this is what the second part of it is, is that you, 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 I think fair people might be willing to consider lowering their quotes if they, were, if they believed it was for a just reason and in a just context and one that, would, that, that fairly balanced the interests of the, of the person who works and the person who employs. And I think that's where the conflict lies in the entertainment industry right now because there is not a sense that the claims made across the board, let's say, by the producer side justify the result being asked of the performer side. I, I, I let me, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, we're dealing with multinational corporations that give two hoots in hell about us. We are a blip. I wish we had tremendously more power. I don't know how we can get more power against that kind of thing. You look at, the, at, at yesterday's, you had the, the winning thing was a British film financed by France, shot in India. There wasn't one American in it. All the, the, the two supporting actors were Australian and, and British. Uh, these things are being made all over the world now. I don't know where our power will come from. 122,000 people in this country, I don't know that we can do it. Um, <coughs> it. It's very discouraging knowing that with multinationals like GE or, or um, Rupert Murdoch, they could care less about us. But at, at the same time, and I, I'm not a producer, uh, I belong to no union, nor have I ever belonged to a union, and <coughs> quite frankly, I actually, quite honestly, know very little about the production side of the business. <clears throat> what I do know is that this medium, this new media, uh, today is, is, is trying to be retrofitted <coughs> to act like old media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to your point earlier, what it really requires are new business models, new formats, and experimentation. Uh, and experimentation, by the way, that you guys should get paid for. And if I could give you like any good news on this panel, it's this. The dynamics of production have changed dramatically, technically, you know, over the last 10 years, and con continue to change every single day. I can go to, you know, in the small, and go buy an HD camera, go buy some lights, right, go buy a microphone, produce a show, nonlinear editing software that used to cost a quarter of a million dollars and required SGI workstations, now ships free <coughs> of charge with $500 PC you can pick up before leaving the small. And the one thing that you cannot get, there are plenty of people out there that will hold the camera and hold the mic and write the stories. But the one thing you cannot get, you cannot manufacture is talent, right? And if you've got that talent, then what you have today is the, the ultimate power. You have the power to go and produce for yourselves. You may not have the giant budgets. You know, go find some dentists and, and lawyers, right? The, the way they used to do it, I hear. Right? Go, go, go do it that way. Why do you need these big studios? Go produce. There are lots of people today that are going out and producing this content, right? Maybe you're not going to get your giant paycheck day one, but if you've got time to invest and you, and you build that craft and you learn to produce it and you build your team of people around you, then you've got a business of your own. You've got your own studio, 
And that's the value. That's the thing that I want to tell you that new media is. Nobody has to green light you anymore. You can do it right now. You can go broadcast tomorrow. Tonight, go home and produce something. Right? I recognize some of you folks. Right? <laughs> go do it. You've got that capability um, to do it. That, that's the beauty of new media. It's, yeah, the, the flip side of that, and I, I, I agree with all that, the flip side of all that, though, is um, I, I think content creation, including creation of audiovisual content and newspapers, obviously, with you know, all respect to, to the employer of our, you know, our moderator. Um, we like to call it dead tree media, actually. <laughs> dead tree media. <laughs> well, the hope is that it's dead tree media, not dead tree media. I mean, the difficulty, <laughs> the, the difficulty for anyone involved in content creation is that there's so much more content available now on the internet. So there's a supply and demand issue. It's true that there, is a li there are a limited number of professional players and of name brand actors and actresses, but content doesn't have to be a perfect substitute in order to be competitive. The time that someone spends watching you know, an amateur, uh, a prosumer project on YouTube is time that's not spent watching something on Hulu. Um, the time that people spend watching something pirated, because there's obviously a culture of piracy on the internet, is time that people aren't spending watching something that's revenue generating. The time that people spend uh, doing other activities, like texting, like doing other things on the internet, like watching video games, all of those things, it's not only true that you have a limited amount of money <coughs> to spend coming to the theater, but you also have a limited amount of time. 